Indeed. Activate shoulder strap. Attach as a gun mod. Assault rifle. Where? Assault rifle. Okay, so we've got the Riftech Assault Rifle fully loaded. That's plenty of ammo to get me out of most of the shenanigans I managed to get myself into. Um, not going to worry about working on that for now. Yeah, the big thing with the, um, the maple syrup, unfortunately I can't make it. Condensed milk. Right there. Milk and maple syrup. Wow, that takes a ton of maple syrup. How much do you get out of it? 120? Yeah, I can see that, I guess. Pretty large batch. Uh, smaller batch? <laughs> Canning pot? Can sealer? Canning pot? Neither? Really? Yeah, much smaller batches. I don't see too often where you've got batch sizes making different recipes. That's taking 24 milk and 144 maple syrup versus 2 milk and 12 maple syrup. <clears throat> 10 times. 12 times. But, uh, yeah, I have no cows. We have not found... Did we find a single... I don't think we found a single uh, farm, a uh, cow farm, dairy farm. Yeah, that's kind of weird for the amount of map we've explored. Usually you run into several of the uh, the dairy farms. We've, we've uncovered quite a bit of the map, local area. Well, maybe he, uh, he specifically removed them from map gen. to keep the uh, the cows meat from being available and or infinite food from the milk and or the van and uh, <laughs> other stuff that appears there you might have just looked at it and says nope this is too much for all the reasons All right, uh, so, yeah, like I said, I, I'm not sure what else to make other than the uh, the welding rig and the forge. I don't know what people put in there, their areas. How about, um, like, warehouse shelves? Do I have access to the warehouse shelves? Nope, don't have access to the warehouse shelves. What would uh, warehouse shelves be under? Oh, actually, they're... Uh, They're in here, aren't they? Warehouse shelf. Eight metal sheets. I only have three. Yeah, let's let's go get some metal sheets so we can make warehouse shelves. Uh, I only have three of those things. Huh. Am I gonna get the most warehouse shelves or sheet metal? Taking apart the um, and a possum still running around. The lockers. Eight sheet metal. That's one sheet metal. Pouring that out of those. What if we uh, smash it? <clears throat> nope, we don't get any. All right. Uh, I'm not going to get enough. I've only got three more lockers over there, plus this one. There's two. Maybe we'll get enough. If we're lucky. <laughs> oh, okay. We got two. It just doesn't fit. No problem. I can work with that.
I got six. Really? How did I end up with six? Well, that sucks. Oof. Huh. That gives me enough, though. I had three there. We should be able to get at least one mate, I think. <clears throat> if you haven't seen warehouse shelves, I'll show you why I'm thinking of putting up a warehouse shelf. Uh, let's see. Warehouse shelf. Just put it. Yeah, it should be in range, even if I'm over here. We'll put it over there. So for you folks that really, really have to build static bases, which I got nothing against that. I just don't do it very often myself. But um, there is the warehouse shelf. And if you take a look at the location for the warehouse shelf, that's why right there. 3,500 liters of stuff you can stack on a warehouse shelf. Whereas a floor space only holds 1,000. So, you know, three and a half times the stuff in one space. Well, I could put everything I own... Uh, do 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 where I'm at warehouse shelf Dunk. in you go Dunk. in you go all right there you go everything I own and we're only at uh, a little over a thousand on that particular warehouse shelf so it'd probably be better if I put it closer to where I'm at so I'd have it adjacent so I could do stuff but as long as it's within uh, the normal five, six steps of your character, you can always use it for crafting and everything. So I have full access to all the raw materials. But there you go. Warehouse shelf. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's go ahead and move this stuff off. Let's move that shelf. Come on, give me down below a thousand. <laughs> so many things. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab you and move you there. Oh, it does block line of sight. That's about the only negative. All right, now. I'm just trying to figure out where I would normally stand. Have it adjacent to me. If I put it here and I put a tool there, I won't be able to walk around this side. <clears throat> eh, it's probably fine where it's at. So. I just like having all my crap in one space. There we go. All my crap's in one space. Yay, nice and organized. <clears throat> the Isherwood. Yeah, well, they're they're NPCs though. <laughs> and I don't encounter them too often when I'm roaming around the maps. They're their map gen rate is pretty small. Don't bump into them too often. The Isher Woods is a big NPC community. It's a huge map section. It's like... <clears throat> let's see. What to compare it to. I'll just draw a box. It, it's like this big. It's a huge section of the world map. Mostly covered in forest on the outer edges, and then there's a road that goes in and kind of zigzags around to various barns and farmhouses and so on between the different family members. But it's a huge map gen item, huge POI. Because of that, it doesn't generate all that often because the conditions for it to generate in are, are a little tough. Okay, uh, let's go have a couple of more of the good stuff. <clears throat> Say no to that. I should get working on these cracklins, I guess. They're probably the best thing I should be eating right now. Still obese. 
5,200 calories for the day, and we're not doing any heavy labor anymore. I should be able to recover some of the weight. I need to get back to morbidly obese. Uh, is it time to just sit around and read? <clears throat> We've pretty much got all the major things accomplished. Um, meaning I've got permanent light. I've got uh, the gas mask so we won't catch a cold or a flu. So we can we can do whatever we need to to pass time to get the last of the skills up. Uh... Ah, let's let's just get uh, let's get that mechanics three. We'll let summertime show up. No problem. Four, eight, eleven. I like that progression better. I like it when it gets down to one and two percent. And now we're down to two percent. <laughs> Damn you, focus. Damn you. <clears throat> All the cracklins. Oh, we have two. 3,500. Oh, just past midnight again. I keep forgetting the day-night cycle because we got light whenever we need it now. <clears throat> yeah, 40% is going to have to do. Let's go not heal some more. Put a real bandage on. Maybe that'll finally get it bumped up enough. Very good and great. Come on, stupid head location. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising if you haven't seen the Isherwood Farms set up. It's, it's not very common to show up on the map. <clears throat> True, it's just normal being a rare spawn and being a rare spawn with large map conditions or map availability necessary for it to even be valid to spawn. More cracklins. We don't care what our health stat looks like. Still obese. Starts out good, and then focus plummets. Now we're back down to 2%. Hmm. <laughs> Getting hot. Then not hot, then hot, then not hot. How much further? So we'll finish it up in the morning, probably, because we're going to get tired probably before this finishes. <clears throat> Or maybe we'll finish it before we get tired. Surprises me a bit. We're running out of battery power in our MP3 player. All right, level five. Now, vehicle. Vehicle welding rig. Steel frame and a welding component kit. Well, I got a steel frame laying around. I think I moved it to the other room. And... Uh, Butter iron and an arc welder. Oh. So. <laughs> Your morale is too low. Really? Excuse me? What? <laughs> Uh, okay. Hmm. A little 
puzzled by that. Read something else real quick. My only electronics book? Really? <clears throat> Ooh, uh... All terrible choices. Food handling. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I think it's the first time I've had that happen. Uh, that is awesome. We broke all of it, which means I can't do it now because I'm down to one uh, welding rig. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. Now it's just going to sit here at 46% forever. <laughs> uh, well. I got one more arc welder. But then I would have to make... Let's see. I'm not sure if it would let me continue with the Oxy. And I'm not sure I have enough to even finish it. <coughs> Jeez. I don't know. My uh, my enthusiasm has, has dropped <laughs> significantly for continuing. Uh, I guess. That was my, my being uh, unhappy and grumpy. Decided to just get angry and smash everything. I just think it's funny I broke a steel frame. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a problem. The welding component kit's the more fragile thing. I could go get another frame easily. So losing the frame was no big deal, but losing the welding component kit, that's, that's really bad. That is really bad. Chances are good I would fail a second time and lose it again, and then I'd be completely out of the ability to weld. Hmm. Hmm. Um... And we still haven't. That's three nights and we still haven't had a single bar of health on our head. I'm starting to think something might be broke because that's even with our... I mean, we're, we're down to obese, but even with a suppressed immune system, our hidden health stat, uh, three entire nights of sleep with max bandaging and disinfectant, I should have gotten some progress, at least even a partial bar. We better get one on this next one or... I'm really going to start to suspect something weird is going on.
Um, ah, screw it. Let's just go sleep. You know, eight in the morning. I want to use the daylight, I think, to go try some stuff. So we'll, uh... Not sure what I'll do. Focus is really bad. Have any other fun books nearby? Classic literature. Yeah, it's not often that I lose things, kits and things like that when I'm crafting. I'm trying to remember the last time I actually did. In a while. <clears throat> um. In forever, partly because we're we're so tired, our focus, our fatigue level. Yeah, screw it, let's go sleep. All right, yet another full strength bandage. Make sure they're topped up. Should have checked my actual head hit points before I went to sleep. <laughs> All right, that's four nights, four complete days and nights with uh, max bandaging and disinfectant, and we haven't gotten a single portion on our head hit points. Edit player me, set hit points. It's at seventy six. Okay. No, it's not imperceptive. I mean, yeah, sure, it's imperceptive healer, but <laughs> anytime I complain about stuff like this, everybody needs to understand I'm talking about it in reference to my already being in under these conditions for extended periods of time and knowing what I should be seeing. It's not, oh, it's imperceptive healer. It's, I mean, I've been playing with imperceptive healer like on 90% of my characters forever. <laughs> I'm aware of how fast it should be. And uh, especially with the morbidly obese with imperceptive healer. I mean, we had all of our body parts fairly severely damaged by falling off the roof. Every single body part was back to full within like a day. And the head has been sitting here now for four and a half days with no progress. <laughs> so it's that kind of disparity. <clears throat> I am very used to uh, the slow healing rate. It's just the, uh, the fact that the head is really, really, really not healing at this point. It, it, all the body parts have a multiplier for their healing rate. The head is the lowest multiplier. It's especially apparent when I do my 18 max hit point type runs. <clears throat> so, nah, obese is the best I've been this entire game. <laughs> We're usually two categories worse. We're usually morbidly obese. I was healing faster when I was morbidly obese than I am right now. Must be the Dane Bramage. It very well could be the Dane Bramage. I'm probably hitting the buttons wrong. That's probably what's going on. It's 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 player error. There's not really not there's not really any modifiers to this that I can control. I mean, y'all have been watching me slap on the bandaging and the disinfectant before going to sleep every single night, <laughs> and the bar has not moved in four sleep cycles. So. I'm still missing my $2. I can't track the guy down. He won't pay me. I want my $2. All right. Only the old people get that reference. If they have, you know, culture. If they're, if they're cultured individuals and have uh, viewed the proper entertainment. Um, all right, let's have some more of the good foods. I'm not managing to get my, 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 my weight back either. Gotta remember to keep stuffing at every opportunity. I'm not getting... I can see now where it looks impressive with the calorie count here, but it is not max satiety. I'd be better off just eating cookies and potato chips. Um, 
is they have a higher study value, meaning the amount of calories per the volume of stomach that it takes up. I'd actually gain weight faster eating the other smaller items. All right. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I, was, I was breaking stuff. Uh, what was I planning to do? I was going to... I, don't, I, I really don't want to risk the welding rig, but can I make the impromptu ones? Makeshifts? What would I be missing? More power converters. That's it. Just some power converters to make two of them if I failed again. I'd really like to get... Uh, really like to get... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to go out and get some more stuff. One thing I do with the vehicle to get mechanics up just to the minimum. Ah, let's try a pipe launcher. Sure, I don't care. I don't care. You can have nails. Focus of 12. Mechanics of, hey, 4 and 40. What was the... Yeah, level four. All right, let's... We'll, we'll try it. What, whatever. Whatever. Who cares? No big deal. Come here, steel frame. <clears throat> Unload. I'm not sure I have enough of the arc welder to do this. I need... Soldering iron also. Watch, I won't be able to make a soldering iron. <laughs> Net electronics of zero. Try it anyway. Use a, a nail. No, nah, it's not going to work. Fine, make another antenna. <laughs> now, <clears throat> make the soldering iron. That's hilarious. Because of the rust, it rusted back below zero and then it insta failed every single attempt. Hilarious. Okay, welding component kit. Okay, work on craft, vehicle welding rig. And we ran out of charges. Porch. That's not good. There we go. We have our vehicle welding rig. We succeeded. <clears throat> now, place. Welding rig. And yeah, right there is fine. <laughs> Again, I can't pick the damn orientation. Examine. Yeah, I wish there was like a rotate option in here or something. We have one with the uh, the vehicle system where we can uh, we can change what things look like. Oops. Plug in appliance. Attach loose end to that vehicle. All right. <clears throat> the only the other one the forge unfortunately uh we need the electric forge which needs the heating elements so i'd have to run out and grab some heat. actually can we make the heating elements i forget apparently not heating crew heating element and i'll have this wage and die set to make the heating elements uh will it take a crude version doesn't say it'll take the crude version. It just lists the heating element. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. 
primitive heating element made from thin coiled steel wire. It'll do for some applications. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess not. I don't think I have enough electronic stuff laying around that I'm not going to use. I guess I could take apart the coffee maker. Let's let's see how many things I can take apart. Maybe, maybe. I'm never going to use that. I don't think hardly any of these have heating elements. Four heating elements. None. 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 I can't see every single part on some of them, but I, I think the coffee maker is it. Yeah, I haven't been picking up any. We'd have to go take apart some uh, some stoves, some ovens. I think that's still actually. Can you disassemble those now? <coughs> they just detach. I'm trying to remember the other heating element locations. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have any here in uh, the house, other than the one oven I'm using. Ovens is where I would typically get them in. Uh, Standard house ovens. Don't think the junkyard had any. Time is it? Nighttime? We could go get some or try to go get some so I can get the forge up. Dryers, oh yeah, dryers and dryers, ovens I mentioned, dryers was the other one. Yeah. Been a while since I went on the hunt. <clears throat> um, hey, we topped it out. Ten solar panels doing a pretty good job. I'm not sure what else I would install in a household like this. I mean, as long as I've got light and I can cook and I can weld and the forge is the last thing I can think of. Put a couple of uh, warehouse shelves up for raw materials you don't actually have to use or grab. Just keep the stuff you typically pick up to use nearby and put all the junk raw materials on the warehouse shelves within six spaces. And that's pretty much as complicated as it gets. Um, I think I would like to try to go get it. We don't have a lot of time left, and I think I am going to probably end the series this evening. I just... Running out of enthusiasm. It's just there's nothing really left to investigate on the No Hope side, and the game world itself is a little too easy for me on the current world settings. So... Uh, is there anything I have not done that you know of in the No Hope mod, short of bandits and stuff, which, no thanks, they're just going to shoot me. Um, or the uh, the workshop setup type stuff that uh, I haven't investigated or answered for folks that are watching. Still need a, a hat. Maybe I should put a, a the, the helm on. Take off the gas mask, see if we can hilariously get another colder flu in the next 30, 40 minutes. Barboot Helm. Junk plate armor. Left knee, huh? Is it the knee pads, the elbow pads you're not liking? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, the hard hard plate. There we go. And what do you think? The uh The mace. I don't have a lot of blunt experience yet. Or we go with the pike. Super long reach tax. We have no night vision bonus right now, so it's not really going to help us any. We'll just take the mace. All right, so uh, we've got the bar boot helm. We've got the junk plate armor. This is arms, legs, torso. So my hands and feet. We're going with the leather gloves and the steel-toed sneakers. <clears throat> got the rifle for emergencies. The military rucksack to carry junk. And a headlamp that's out of battery power. I probably had it running the entire time when I had the internal light going. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me in the least. Poor electric car. Do I have headlights still? I do. I have one headlight. We'll just head down to the local houses we've cleared and see if we can get some uh, heating elements real quick. <clears throat> Grappler where? Over there. Ain't no problem. Get the mace out. Both these windows are broke, huh? So, do we have washer dryer in here? Got the basement where I think they're going to be at, and we have the oven. And we got the same next door. All right, we should be able to get everything we need out of those. Oh yeah, take out earplugs. This will be the tricky part right here, depending on what's out behind me, because I have to turn the light on for this part. Uh, smash or disassemble? I think it's one from smash. I think it varies a bit. from that so we're up to four and then four from the disassembly of the other uh the, the coffee pot would get me the eight theoretically that i need i don't believe the furnace has any you know the washing machine doesn't uh we'll try to get to the other house as well We needed eight. We got. We got ten. Uh, so two attempts. If we screw up somehow, I'd need sixteen. So I need two more to be safe-ish. Mm. Restaurants got one oven, or I can try to go. Further down the line. Nah, we'll just go with what we got. I think we'll be okay. Whoops. Poor solar car. Definitely the best vehicle to go for. 
here doing the no hope mod. It'll be easier to get working and no gas requirements. Make it pretty obvious. Home again. All right, so electric forge. We meet the requirements. We shouldn't have any fail rate, so we should be fine. Uh, lump of steel's fine, and of course the arc welder. Use the power grid. Any tips when starting in a city? <laughs> uh, city play takes. I mean, hopefully you've got some experience with the base game and creeping around out of the evac shelter and all that kind of stuff. City life is mostly about uh, staying near houses initially. Houses provide you the best maneuvering and escape options. So try to stay towards the residential neighborhoods and uh, make raids into the commercial and industrial districts as you need to. Learn how to safely get up and down onto roofs. <clears throat> um, it, it just takes practice. There's a lot of it. Try to try to scout out your areas as much as possible ahead of time. Know where the vehicles are located. Utilizing vehicles in the cities is really, really critical as blockers for enemy movement and for, as fighting platforms, especially if you have parkour. Gives you a huge advantage if you have parkour trait. You can just hop into the vehicle, step one space deep, and when they step into the space next to you, they have to spend four turns paying off that move, and you can smash them several times before they get an attack and then you just switch to run mode back up a space again they move forward and you can hit them again setting houses on fire setting strategic buildings on fire go in and try to loot them if you can double check if it's likely other buildings will get caught on fire as well so you don't want to start a, a block fire <laughs> if you haven't looted certain buildings but yeah there's just a lot of little things to know about just takes practice really Get comfortable moving around at night and not being able to see the enemies. Um, there's just a lot to it. <clears throat> it's a good time, though. It's a very different experience. Okay. Uh, we finished the, the rig. Uh, yeah, we got the electric forge done. So now we need the forge kit. Vehicle forge rig. Electronics shouldn't cause a failure. If it does, I'll be pretty unhappy. <laughs> pretty unhappy. Okay. And Please. Electric forge needs one electric forge. Oh, I just did the kit, did Oh wait, did I make the vehicle forge, but it require it wants a regular forge for placement? Yeah, I made the vehicle forge rig. They're not using the vehicle forge for Alright, now I'm confused. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> it's funny. Oh man, I hate exceptions and vagaries and discontinuities. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. So I gotta make the vehicle welding kit to attach to the electrical network, but I I meet I don't make the vehicle forge to attack attach to the network. Ugh. Is that really what you're telling me here? Uh, did I actually give myself one? <laughs> I did not. So, if we move the rig out of... out of range... place... Yep, just uses the standard electric forge. Not the vehicle forge rig. God dang it. Uh, I hate that stuff. I'm 
And now the forge is being wrecked. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I, I hate it when there's differences in implementation. They're treating the uh, vehicle rig, or vehicle welding rig, and the, the electric forge in different ways. <coughs> All right. So essentially, that's what I would consider a complete workshop. I can't think of anything else I usually put in. I don't care about freezers. I, I'm not in game worlds long enough really to worry about long-term food preservation. I, I would die of terminal boredom long before I would uh, need any of that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, be a super mutant cyborg uh, death machine by the time I would get around to harvesting a farmed crop or uh, anything like that. So, yeah. You, I guess, we'll just throw over here. Like I mentioned earlier, if I needed to work on the vehicle, I could just disassemble from this position assemble it here and attach it to the wall and then just bring the vehicle over a little closer and I could repair and weld all the vehicle stuff and then replace it again. <clears throat> a little ungainly. Or I could do a second one, you know, if I had the materials. But, uh... Yeah, it's pretty much a functional workshop. we got solar panels up above, which theoretically protects them from uh, the vagaries of zombies smashing them. But we have our 10 solar panels, <clears throat> 30 more sitting on top of that rooftop. Oh, the extension cord showed up. I thought I saw, yep, hey, there's the extension cord. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we could go get more if we needed to, but we don't need to. But having them up here, I think we'll protect them from everything with the possible exception of the portal storms. Still a little fuzzy on just what kind of uh, building damage the portal storms will do. Short of incidental stuff when something like a zombie or something knocks a wall down and destroys a bunch of stuff. But I don't know how much of that kind of stuff we get from the portal storms. <clears throat> and I haven't seen but, what, two portal storms this entire run? We're on day 91. It's summer day one tomorrow. And uh, we've seen two portal storms. That's That seems really low for that amount of time. 30 days and only two portal storms occurred, both of which were conveniently right while I was sleeping and I just ignored them. All right. So. I don't know. I think I might wrap things up just a little early tonight. I can't think of anything else I really want to do. I've got no places I really want to go visit right now. I'm not interested in diving into a TCL with this character in these world settings. Um, I can't think of anything the mod changes that is going to make it interesting for this character at this point. We've got a secure base. We've got a secure workshop. We've got the electrical grid figured out. Which will carry over into future episodes. Uh, we got vehicles, we got the skills, we got all the books, we got plenty of food. Uh, we got medieval weapons and armor, we got RivTech machine guns. So, yeah, I, I think I'm probably going to wrap things up right here. I just can't think of anything else I really want to do. My my main final thing to figure out was the, uh, the electrical system, which got somewhat stymied by the uh, the changes the mod made to the wooden walls but uh, we figured a way around that so I'll send the mod author some notes um, regarding the things that we've done or the uh, the notes I wrote down um, the ones that I remember most are uh, the, the wall problem is the one that is immediately to mind right now but then we had the um, the lumber yard gas pump still has the quote unquote wrong amount of gasoline. He needs to go in and edit that to the level he likes for this mod. And I, li I lived primarily off of vending machines. I think 90, what do you think? 90% of my food was probably vending machine snacks. And a few casseroles. <laughs> Those casseroles came in handy. That was about it though. 
And then we had some fun with uh, getting the common cold and then losing it and then getting it and losing it and getting it again. Good times. 73 torso. Yeah. All right, let's wrap things up right here. I don't want to get uh, too bored and grumpy, so uh, I think this is a good stopping point. I got everything accomplished that I was hoping to. Uh, we can check for a raid. We can see if there's any raid-worthy folks out there. I'm not, I haven't been having much luck recently with raids. All the folks that I work with uh, haven't been around. Uh, do, do, do. Hey, AVAC's on. We'll go raid AVAC. We haven't raided AVAC in a, a couple weeks. All right, so before I push those buttons, thanks as always, everybody, for hanging out for some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, the No Hope mod run. Um, I'll put that on the back burner. I like some of the things it does. I, it, it's got some interesting parts as a, now that I'm familiar with it, as a starting point for other world setting changes I would need to make personally to, to be challenged. I'd need to adjust some other things. Uh, I wanted to do a run in a default game world because I had no idea what actual issues or challenges I was going to run into. But now that we've got that behind us, I've got a benchmark that I can then think through some challenges where we use the No Hope mod, but I make other adjustments in addition so that I, I have more challenge uh, involved in the survival. And I'll pass along my notes and we'll see if he gets them updated and all that. But uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for hanging out for the No Hope mod final category or final uh, final episode i will uh I'll, I'll dream up something new to start us up on friday and i'll probably do more of a power gamer type of run on that one we'll do something like stupidly hard stupidly advanced or something uh it's been a little bit since i did one of those so i'll, I'll try to come up with something interesting and entertaining for that type uh but for now i'm gonna call it a night and i'm gonna send you guys over to avac he's playing phoenix point so let me go push some buttons and we'll get you on over there Okay, have a great evening, everybody. <laughs>